Welcome back to Farming Simulator 2017, and um, yeah, from last episode, do you remember I had a couple of questions, and uh, I had got some answers from people saying about why I couldn't go between fields, and in over here, let me just load one of these things, uh, let's just say, let's just grab our field 12 mo. Uh, yes, let's load that, I'm in the wrong mode, there we go. So you'll see field edge path is the currently loaded course. So, uh, in fact, we can probably look at it here. Yeah. So this is as far as it knows. Now, if I just go into uh, as far as it's able to see, essentially. So if I just go into, um, is it mowing? Yes, it is. So let's just get rid of you and load you. You see all this. This is my course that I recorded, and it just didn't seem to be able to deal with with things. So, um. One of the options that I thought I'd try and explore, first of all, is to record a custom field. Uh, or a custom course, I should say. Now, I haven't done that before. I've used the auto-generation stuff before. So, first of all, I'm just going to go into transfer mode, I think. And I'm just going to bring down our tools. Just so that uh, I've got a good idea of how much I can turn. So, let's say we wanted to record it here. Let's just bring it out to the side of the field somewhat because it's a mower so it shouldn't matter that much so if we're going to do this course we're going to need to record something and i think we may be able to get it well we'll try it anyway if we create a course that runs around the outside here down this way up to the top around this way around back and then maybe there because i can't go across these because there are there is at least one tree still in there somewhere Maybe we can generate a course using that. Let's give it a try anyway. So let me just start that recording and let's see how we go. So here's the start point. Obviously, that's fairly straightforward. And I'm just going to drive up to the top and around and over. Now, this field does look like it's ready for harvest, but I had literally forgotten to harvest, uh, to, to weed, I think, or to fertilize one of the two and uh, as such it won't be a great amount of yield but while i actually uh while i record this have a look at the top here here we're at 451,000. that was largely due to the sale of those two bale wrappers that we got originally whoops those two bale wrappers we got originally they sell from 80 grand or 75 something like that in um in total which is pretty good plus the actual uh harvest of grass and the full harvest that is not just this horrible one at the moment <laughs> i'm still actually fertilizing with uh, with that well in fact i'm not right now because that's stopped but uh you get the idea it's not all grown yet uh, i think i had the the timer on too fast when i was uh harvesting last time and uh part of the field started to grow too soon so this shouldn't be too much harder we have to be a bit careful there my only concern is the actual space left between field 12, 14, uh, 12 and 14 will be too narrow for it to generate a course. You'll see here, here's where the uh, the uh, tree is, at least the first tree. And then if we go back, we have to go back this way, which is where the second tree, <laughs> or second trees, comes in. And then we'll head down, whoop, head down here. <laughs> this course is going to look terrible, but uh, yeah, we'll see how well it does. Let's, it's worth giving it a go anyway. And then down we go to the bottom. We can turn left, and we're going to come over towards our original start point. Uh, okay, that'll do. Let me just stop that, and I'm going to save it. Let's save it as... Uh, home farm fields or something. Shouldn't matter what we save it as. Then, if we go to driving... Uh, not driving settings, sorry. Uh, let's just go and clear the... Do we actually want to do that? Let's go to fieldwork mode. Yeah, we can go to fieldwork mode. And we're going to generate a new... A new course, essentially. But using our currently loaded course, which is this slightly dodgy line as the field edge path so it's, it's treating this as a one field system even though there's three fields going on working with is definitely not right these mowers are probably something like ah there we go we can recalculate yep it's got that right now 
Starting location is going to be... Is that accurate to the... Yeah, so it's northeast. Uh, current vehicle position, that's fine. Uh, return to first point. Mm, deactivated, that's fine. Headlands, let's just actually generate a couple of headlands. Just so that I, it'll circle the outside before it starts going up and down. And bypass islands I'm going to leave alone. And then I'm going to press a magic button. <laughs> I may go horribly, horribly wrong. That's actually not bad. That doesn't look too bad, does it? Obviously, we've got two headlands, which are these, these outside rows. And then we've got all the, the rows going up and down. Remember, we still have to wind, wind row this afterwards. But, uh, maybe, maybe this will be good. So, that seems like something we should save, um, doesn't it? So, let's save that as... I don't know, three, um, three field mo. Now, three field mo. All right, and why don't we? Oh, that's actually heading in the. It did an automatic direction, and it heads the other direction. You'll see that's a starting point. Eh, okay, that's fine. Uh, let's just see if I can get you to fertilize the fields first of all. I'm not going to show that on camera, but. Uh, Let's just uh, stop you and let's go over to 15 and let's say we want you to fertilize. And a car alarm goes off. One second. Okay, now even though that's fertilizing, I, I don't care much about this harvest. I want to use it to play essentially with course play and we'll see how well it goes. And then of course we know we can do all the previous stuff. So why don't we give this a go? So we're in field mode, we can say drive the course. It's going to uh, turn and head that direction, hopefully. That's not turning and heading that direction. Oh, yeah. Let me just uh, let me just lift that back up again. Lift mower. And let's go around this way. We need to tell it to start at the first waypoint, not. Uh, not any old waypoint it likes. So let's give this a try now. Yeah, you're going to reset yourself. That's okay. We sh this, this folding is just so slow, but that, that's fine. And as it... No, nah, it may not be able to... Let me just actually head over here. May not figure out its turning circle right. So I've got to worry about that a little bit. So as usual, give it a try now. Okay, so now it envisages the whole thing as one field. So we should be able to at least do the mowing and probably the wind rowing, assuming this actually works, we'll see soon enough, um, in one fell swoop. Bailing is going to be a problem, though. Bailing will not work very well with this at all, I don't think, because... Uh, we just don't have those nice regulated rows anymore. We have headlands around the outside. And then we have regulated rows in the middle. Sure, the uh, the baler will certainly follow it. But I already have problems with the, the wrapper and the bale wagon as it is. So why don't we get into uh, something like a forest harvester. Or for forest harvester. Forage harvester or a forest wa uh, forage wagon and see whether we can then just uh, sallow this stuff. Alternatively, see whether we can go and take that to be turned into silage by the other method. I did mention that I would show it to you. I'm not sure if it's going to be done this episode, but we'll give it a try anyway. So around this goes, and it, it's still considering everything here to be mowed. <laughs> so it's going to try and mow the, the, the dirt paths as well. But other than that, it seems to be working because it's now a single field as far as it's concerned. Okay, and let's just... We didn't actually need this to do much. <laughs> so let's just go and park this. Much nicer now I've moved this shed out of the way. Or I've sold that shed. Uh, we've got another one over there that I may need to get rid of. I think what I'm also going to do this episode... Ooh, once I get out of the way... That, that, uh, there we go. <laughs> once I get rid of the other way, the other tractor, it's probably some placeables. Uh, it's probably a good time to do that, and to do 
do that, I think I will need to go and have a little bit of a scout around for the right place to put them. So if we just head around here, yeah, the main thing is just the amount of trees on this map. There's lots of them, and we can go around and remove them all. Yes, but at the same time, yeah, that's still even not a great amount of space. Not really. So I guess we could put a couple here. Hmm. Maybe. Let's go and see what we can do. So if you go into the store, go to placeables, and we have enough money to, to buy a lot of these, so um, we can do a few things. We can get a vehicle workshop. Well, we don't need that just yet. All the silo extensions. Um, but I think we can go for greenhouses. So let's just see what happens. There we go. Um, I can put them down. The, the thing with greenhouses is you need to make sure that the side facing away from me right now. Can we actually rotate? Yeah. Oh, not so rotating that. I want to rotate the camera right and left. There we go. So the side you can see facing me right now, there's like a tank on the right hand side, you can see it. And there's like a sort of uh, a bin on the left hand side. You need to be able to access those. I made this mistake in my own personal game. You you must be able to access those. And as you can see, this isn't really. Uh, oh, we can put one there, but that's not great. <laughs> it's maybe too close to existing buildings or something like that. Uh, obviously, we can put it on the field. That is also no good. Uh, is there any room over here? Well, we can sort of do it there. Let's uh, just rotate. Can we rotate this to face the, the road? Be nice. Right, you know, right there would be nice. <laughs> right here might be nice. No, it's not going to let me place these very easily. That, that much is for certain. Um, any further along the road? Or even here, he would be actually fine if we could. Let's rotate the camera around. And we need to flip this around as well. But again, it doesn't seem to want to let me. And the same thing for a lot of places around the farm. It's quite annoying. Uh, we can up here, of course. That's where our shed was. So I've got to be careful about the turning circle up here. But uh, can we get it so that it's... Well, you we can probably do it there. Well, that might work. We could probably put a, two, a couple down there. One there and then one... No, it, it doesn't like it in very many locations. Let me put it that way. So let's say we have one there. Uh, and we can put another one here. And then we want to go back and get a water tower. You can refill for free on the map, I think. But um, I'm... I'm not going to worry about it too much. I actually just want to, to have a quickly available source of water somewhere. And we may as well put it next to the greenhouses because that's where we need to refill. So um don't want to get in the way of this loading track at all. And we need to probably rotate that around so that the water is available on this side. That seems to be fine. Hopefully that's far enough in that it won't cause problems for our, our tractors. There we go. Okay, and then I'm going to need... And that's the construction cost. This That was... Wow, that was like 80 grand. Uh, we're also going to need a, a water wagon of some kind, some, some way of storing liquids. Uh, I don't have any at the moment, but uh, I don't think you get one on this map. But you can buy one. It's not a slurry tank. Um, no, I don't think they hold water, I assume. Is there any other water tanks? Uh, maybe miscellaneous? No, where are the water tanks? Ah, it's okay, they're in the animal section. So it's quite a cheap thing to actually just grab one of these. And let's just actually buy one. Yep, that's 10 grand. Uh, let's just send a tractor over to fetch it, so that won't take very much trouble. Let's just send you over... where are you now? We want to go into transfer mode. Tell it to go farm to shop. Farm to shop. Drive and activate 
that setting for the end. Are you still mowing? You are still mowing. That's good. It's made it all the way around, it looks like. The headlands, you can see the tracks of the headlands has actually gone around all the fields. That's pretty good. And then what I'm also going to want to buy as well, so I'm actually going to send another tractor over to the shop. Let's just go and send you around there as well. Um, where are you? We want, again, transferring farm to shop. And we'll just say, make sure we're in transfer mode. Drive the course. And off you go as well. Okay, so let's go to this as well and into the shop. And now we're going to want some sort of... Not a forage harvester, I just want a forage wagon of some kind. Um, loading wagon? Yeah, that, that should do us, I think. Collects grass, hay or straw, and it basically fills it up full. So we're going to actually buy one of those as well. Buy. Yep. So we're down to 300 grand. So we spent that extra, essentially, harvest getting uh, getting all this stuff. But it'll be fine. We've got lots of uh, stuff to do with it now, so we can get started. And I will see you once we're over at the shop. Okay, we're here at the shop, and you can see both of our new things. Our water tank. And we'll just get that going. I can head back to the farm now. We don't have to do anything specific with it. Except fill it up, of course. So, shop to farm. Get rid of our existing one. Start a new one. Drive the course. And where's our... Here comes our next one. We can stop the driver. And here is the collection wagon for our grass, essentially. Loading wagon, if you want to call it that. And there we go. So this is going to follow the same course that we've just set for our mower. And unlike the, the baler, this is just going to completely fill, I hope, with, with grass. Let's actually get this started on the way back as well. So shop to farm, change back, drive the course, and we can go back over. You can see this is already now back to the number 12 field. And where are you... This is going to go all the way through number 12 now. I wonder how well it's done for the rest of the farm, though. Let's go and have a look. Has it uh, completed 14 and 15 yet? Or is it going to do... I think it may have done all the headlands, and now it's going to go and do the contents of 12, then the contents of 14, then the contents of 15. Let's go and quickly take a look. I need to rebuy that car. <laughs> it's a quick way of getting around everywhere. Yeah, that looks exactly what it's done. So it's done all the headlands first. That makes it so much nicer that we don't have to worry about the headlands areas. And then uh, it's going to go through and do the fields now. Pretty good. You'll see I still haven't removed some of these stumps. I'm definitely going to remove that tree. We could even, you know, just um, make sure we extend the, the custom field into this area. And we could eat well. I don't like the those rocks. But we could certainly maybe... Instead of going the field, sending the field this way and then up that way, we could send it down here along this path and up that way. And this would inc include all of this area here. Um, and we'll just mow the extra grass. It's not like you get a huge benefit from this because we're, we're weeding and fertilizing the, the main fields, whereas we're not for all of, all of this area. It's just a sort of ground area. And you can do that for the rest of the map as well. If you find a big open area of grass, just create a custom custom course like I've just shown you and uh, you're going to happy to just take the, the grass for free. Here comes our tractor with our water tank. Uh, let's get to you. There we go. So we can stop the driver and make sure I just uh, go to the red. Make sure that's activated. Okay, otherwise it tends to go and ram all the other equipment. Fine. And then we can go and show you what the placeables do. Now, you can just buy things like the solar... Uh, no, is it solar? Solar and wind generators, and they'll passively generate income for you. However, these will generate more. The, the greenhouses, uh, both tomatoes and lettuce... Uh, let's just refill you. Press R. Both tomatoes and lettuce will generate revenue for you if they are filled with water, 
and if they also have manure or something like that, some fertilizer essentially. But we don't need to put the fertilizer in. We definitely need the water, that much is of certain, and you'll see that's draining out of our coffers, our incomes, <laughs> incomes, income. But uh, we can then refill just by moving it up a little bit. And we should be able to, uh, can we, can we refill? Uh, I really hope we can. Let's um, get closer. Ah, there we go. Ah, oh, refill greenhouse. I must have to get really close for it, that's all. And there goes our water. There it is, it's full. Manure fill level is zero, but that's okay too. We're, we're not going to have much, much of a problem. Uh, but we are going to need to refill this other greenhouse. Um, is that just the range to it? There we go. Yeah, so that one's fine. So once a day, just go over and uh, refill the water. And at the end of the day as well, when you get hit midnight, you'll get the, the benefit, the uh, the revenue from this. Now you do get multiple thousands, I believe, but nothing like the, the harvesting that we normally do. So that's just a side benefit that sort of equals out things like bank loans and other kinds of stuff, which we could just pay off now with a couple of harvests. That wouldn't be much of a problem. Um, so let's just send this down here so it's not getting interrupted by the mower. And in fact, we could start it wind rowing as well, but that, that's something you've already seen. Um, yeah, so let's just make sure this is stopped and then we can head across to the start of the course. And this would roll alongside after the wind rower. So we've got to get the wind rower out first, I guess. Yeah, I suppose I better do that. Um, where's my wind rower? I know I have it somewhere. Ah, there it is. I hope. Yep, there we go. So we can back this in. And we can start this wind rowing. Oh, this should be just as as good. Um, it's not precisely the same width of tool as the other thing, but uh, if we can get it started. And hopefully this means it won't interfere with that mower in that because it'll be doing the headlands first, uh, it won't have um, clearance issues with the other thing, but we can always deal with it if it does. So three field mow, let's just get rid of that and let's just actually move this into mowing. And let's just move home farm fields into mowing. And we just want the three field mow. So let's just take that, make sure we're in fieldwork mode as normal. And then draft course. Hopefully it's not going to interfere with these two when they get close to each other, but we'll see. In fact, it's actually just finished that field. So that one should. <laughs> it might end up. Mm. <laughs> please, please move. Oh, it is moving. Good. And we are wind rowing nicely behind this. So uh, we may have to slow down the field speed. Let's slow it down a little bit so it's slower than our mower. <laughs> At least for now. And these are nicely following each other. There we go. And then, if they follow each other like that, then we could potentially also set this going on the same thing. Hmm, interesting. So if you go to mowing, uh, let's clear the old course. Three field mow. We'll load that one. And field work mode. And this might be a bit of a problem because of the turning circle. Ooh, that's always an issue. All right, and then let's try it. Mm, that's not good. <laughs> uh, this is fieldwork mode. Are you going to have a problem with that? Drive course first waypoint. Did I clear the course? Um, drive the course. And there it goes. It's picking up grass. That grass is being loaded into the back of the truck. And that's actually a fairly quick fill of this truck. I was expecting that to take a lot longer. <laughs> Which means I'm probably going to have to combine this course with an unload course as well. So uh, that's just something I want to stop for now. And we're going to have to 
we have to record another course, aren't we? Uh, to unload. So, why don't we just for now go back here. Now, this might cause some problems because this is not a single field anymore, really. Oh, was that just picking everything up anyway? Uh, yeah, it is. Let's pick up the lift the pickup. Yeah, the, the main problem I can see here is that um, when it's between fields, if it decides it needs to go and unload, it might hit, go and hit a tree or a rock or something like that kind of that kind of thing. So let's just clear this for a start off. And is it just going to be transfer mode? Because we're going to start a new course recording. Let's turn off the wagon. So we can start that. Uh, it's already it's got an issue. We'll have to go back to that in a minute. And we're just going to go in through the farm, I think. The windrow is fine. Is it the mower that's having a problem? Mm, I'm not so sure about this route to the unload point. Eek! <laughs> that's fine. We're going to have to come back around, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to go through this. And that might cause an issue. But it should hopefully detect this is the unload point. And then back out onto the road. Yes, I know the other end series is slipping. I'll have to get that back in a second. And then, just back to the start, where hopefully everything will work. Let's get back over here. And let's just say here, okay? And we'll save this as um, grass unload. Okay, so that's saved into here. Let's just add three field mow. And then we're going to merge in the grass unload, I guess. Let's give that a go. Say that we're in field work mode and next uh, next closest waypoint. Let's give that a go. Is that going to go straight into the field? No, it's going to be fine. Let's go and see what's happening to our mower. Yeah, of course, it's a tree. It always hits a tree. Um, is it actually... Was it been trying to go? Uh, that's that's a problem. I don't know where, which way it's trying. It was trying to go. I assume it was trying to follow. Yeah, you see, see this little jagged line here? I don't like it, and I think that's what it was trying to do. So I'm just going to... I can't edit that just now. At least I'll, let, I'll do a little bit more work. So uh, let's just... Um, head to... I don't know. Around here, and let's say... Next closest waypoint and drive course. I, I don't even know. <laughs> okay, it's just missing some this time around. I'm going to have to play with that width of this course a little bit more, but I'll do that between the episodes. Unless you guys can think of a way of just smoothing that path perfectly so that it doesn't do this uh, sort of jagged approach to things. In any case, that one is working fine too. And we're just approaching full, so let's see what happens. Is it going to realize that other thing is an unload course? I may have got the recording wrong. That's entirely possible. But let's give this a go and see what happens. Are you full? You are. And off it's heading. Now, this is the problem. See all those trees? That's a bit of an issue. <laughs> but let's give it it let's give it its go. Let's give it its due and let's see whether it actually I wish they had some kind of collision avoidance. Um, but regardless, if it intersected a path through here, through the farm, it wouldn't be too bad. But I think it's heading straight for that starting area. Let's give give this a go and see where it goes. May miss all the trees completely accidentally, which looks like what's happening. <laughs> okay, I'll willing to give that uh, give that a chance. 
if we can just wait for it to get to its start point, then let's see if it will go and unload properly. It should do now, now that it's figured out what to do. Yeah, there it goes. It's turning to the right. I Honestly, I'm not touching this. Don't worry. It's not me whatsoever. So that's heading to unload. Um, this is continuing to mow just fine. And win row just fine. <laughs> there goes our AI unloader. Well, pre-recorded course, not an AI. An AI will just figure it out for itself. Or not, as the case may be, depending on how good the AI is. I hope we go towards the silo. Hopefully it's not going to have a problem because I drove through the silo pickup area. Nope, good. And... Will you unload into the silo? See what happens? No, you won't. <laughs> fine, I guess I'm going to have to um, put a wait point, a manual wait point in that. That's fine, I'll just do that myself. Unless there's a problem. So we can't actually put it into our silo. I think you can. Let's just stop the driver. And just do this manually, just to make sure that I can actually do it. If not, then we'll have to build um, either a, a storage for grass or we'll just have to take it every time all the way up to the top of the map. Either way, it's not terribly hard. It's just a different recorded course. So let's just get you in here. And uh, can we unload you? Yep, we can't get except grass, so that's why it's not working. Yep, I'm being an idiot. <laughs> so if we want to unload that, we're going to have to go up onto the map and go up here and we need to unload into these bays for it to be turned into salvage we're going to get to that the next episode because that's the end of this one it's running out of time unfortunately it's nearly half an hour so we've got a full load of grass uh, you could also by the way unload this anywhere you like so if you want to actually do bailing from anywhere we could just uh i guess unload it yeah left control and i unloads it anywhere so if i wanted it let's say on this patch next to our shed down there uh, which is an interesting option. We could just head here. And left control I. And we will begin unloading the grass, which we can move forward just to keep it to a sensible amount. And there we go. As you can see, that's a huge pile of grass. <laughs> So you could run a baler over that. Uh, it, it would sort of work. <laughs> it might have problems with the tractor. Sometimes you have to get like two or three wheel wide tractors to get enough traction to pull them over giant piles like this. But you could do that. You could dump it here to, to do baling. Uh, baling would be predictable, but the baler we have right now dumps bales out of the back straight away. So mm, very hard to pick up then and wrap and all kinds of other things. So probably best that we use this take it up to that other spot on the map and let's see how far away that is that's not terrible um because we can go at the end of field 14 here turn right and then you go straight all the way there up the road across the junction and into the biogas plant all right so we'll probably get to that next episode as always thanks a lot for watching uh, feel free to uh, like subscribe share do let me know in the comments if you see any improvements particularly to that course uh, that we've got set up for multiple fields now and otherwise, we'll see you next episode for some more Farming Simulator 17.